Once upon a time in the projects. Doing. Clearing some space. My new exercise tape is coming in the mail today. Another exercise tape? You've already bought abs of steel, buns of steel, hot of steel. I don't remember buying that one. Very good. You buy all these tapes and never use them. Look, Mira, this is different. It's the Billy Blanks Tybo video. Ty what? Tybo, Tybo, the secret ancient art of karate aerobics, Muriel. It was invented thousands of years ago in China by African Americans. Very good. Maybe if you didn't dip your potato chips in Crisco. Wait. Muriel, I think I hear the mail coming. It's coming from... Kia! <laughs> the East! Oh my God, it's already here! They're good. I'm glad I caught you. There is a... Out of my way! Whoa! Puddle of grease on the top deck. I've got to get there first! Go, OJ! Go! <laughs> oh, oh, Master Carnary Thrombosis is coming on. Expecting some very important fifth and final notices. Now, how am I supposed to pay my phone bill unless I get my fifth and final notice? Oh, stop your damn complaining. BB got a colored contact, didn't she? Yeah, but they all busted and mangled. I see 12 of everything. Well, now you know how it feels to look fly. Hmm. Thurgood, we have to do something about this. It's unacceptable. Now, now, Mary, you can't blame the post office. They're just doing the best job they can. They're only human. Thurgood. I found your Tybo tape. Oh, those animals! They ruined my Tybo tape! I'd kick their ass right now if I knew Tybo. Okay, everybody, let's go postal! Yeah. 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 We're the tenants of the Hilton Jacobs Projects, and we demand you start delivering our mail again. Oh, I see. Well, that's the man you want right over there. Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Shonda, I told you to tell them I'm not here. And I told you not to eat my Jolly Ranchers. We want to know why you won't deliver our mail. Because you people live in a bad neighborhood. It's true, some projects are bad, but we keep that element out of the Hilton Jacobs. Isn't that right? Sure, oh, of course we do, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Look, if you agree to deliver our mail, I swear on the souls of my children, we will protect you. Thurgood, we don't have children. We do on our income tax. Uh, you can, uh, guarantee my safety? Absolutely, and besides, most of the violence in the projects is black-on-black -black crime, and you white, right? Uh, well, actually... Look here, man. I'm passing. Ooh. I ain't mad at you. I I'll do it. Yeah! Okay, see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. sharp. You got some good hair. Go back! Whew. 
Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? You see, projects don't kill mailmen. Mailmen kill mailmen. Yeah, maybe I was overreacting. <laughs> oh, wait, I have one letter left here. Uh, oh, Miss Avery. Hit the deck! Get away from there, you burglar! Mrs. Avery, no! Stop shooting! That's the mailman! Mail don't come from a man! Mail come from the sky! Hey, look, can you go easy on it? It wasn't her fault. She was confused. That's the way old people are. She probably sold a mailman's uniform and thought he was a cop. Ma'am, can you tell me why you shot at the postal worker? <laughs> How was I to know he was a mailman? For all I knew, it could have been the angel of death coming to take me to the sweet glory of my lord and savior. I had to shoot him. I'm sorry, folks, but we're gonna have to take her away. No! You can't do that! Now, hold on. Uh, we officers have always been able to come to an understanding regarding female prisoners. Don't you think we can find a way to get her off scot-free? Okay, maybe she's a little past her prime for scot-free, but I don't think she should go to jail. Who said she was going to jail? We're taking this woman to a rest home. A rest home? Thurgood, we can't let them take her to some rest home so she can just sit around and rot? Yeah, you're right. You know, at least in jail she can learn to trade while she rot. Why can't we just take her? Hey, that's an idea. All it takes is concerned people who care. Well, I think we'll be able to make this work, but I must warn you, at the first sign of trouble, she'll have to go to the home. Miss Avery won't cause any trouble. She's just a sweet, harmless, put it back. Uh, oh, dear, not a threat to anyone. Mm, okay. She's yours. No! Come right in, Mrs. Avery. This is your new home. Huh. I don't know, Muriel. It's got that young people smell. I'm not sure I like this. No, no, Mrs. Avery. It's just for tonight. You won't be here all the time. That's right. Tomorrow you'll be an unwanted burden to another one of your friends. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I can take care of myself just fine. Now, if somebody would just help me pop my hip back, I'll be on my way. Oh, now, now, Mrs. Avery, this is just like your home now. I brought some stuff from your apartment so you can settle in, too. Here's your magnifying glass so you can read. Huh. We even brought down your Jesuses. Don't you know not to put the black ones with the white ones? They fight! Muriel, put down her Jesuses! Why don't you just come over here, Miss Avery, and relax and take a seat and have, just be comfortable. I don't like this chair. I want my own things. Where's my furniture? Where's my clothes? Where's my lamps? Oh, don't worry, don't worry, girl. Your things are safely put away in storage. Ooh, the new spring fashions have arrived. <laughs> oh, God, Mary, 2.30 a.m. I thought we'd never get her to sleep. Oh, tell me about it. I thought she'd never finish saying her prayers. Yeah, you'd think she'd wait a few weeks and talk to him in person. What the hell, Jim Baylor? Mrs. Avery, what are you doing? I'm using your fast oven what Muriel made the popcorn in earlier. To make what? A can of beans. Oh, all right. Night. Ah! They're here. No, don't go into the light, Mrs. Avery! Ah, ah, ah! Oh, oh, oh. I think she keeps the pills in here. Oh, for Pedro's sake. Okay, let's try the red one. The plane! The plane! Stop treating me like a child! Just give me the- She's choking! <laughs> Please don't be a laxative! Is everybody here? Where's Miss Avery? She just went into the bathroom. All right, that gives us an hour. Very good. We can't go on like this. She's a menace to society. You can't turn your back on her for one second. 
She tried to cook my shoe. She almost choked to death on us. Let me tell you something. I don't think she got any nerve endings. That bitch had the heat all the way up to 108 degrees. Now that's just ghetto. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, from now on, we'll just have to keep her on a very, very short leash. Now say anything else. Yeah. Miss Avery is half deaf, right? Yes. Then why the hell are we whispering? Oh, oh, oh. Well, what do you think of your new chair? This isn't my chair. Oh, yes it is now, and it's been modified to suit the remainder of your lifestyle, see? And look. No more pesky freedom of movement. Then I know what you're thinking. What about when the senior on the go has to go? Well, here you go. And I know it works because I had an earlier prototype installed during the football season. Well, I guess I could catch up on my knitting. Muriel, how do you like your sweaters? Too long or too wide? Uh, 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 no, we don't want anyone to get hurt. Huh. Well, what in the heck am I supposed to do? Uh, uh, um, here, play with this nice can of buttons. Mm -mm, choking. Uh, magazine? Mm -mm, paper cut. Well, here's something fun for ages 90 and up. Cotton, huh? At least you could have ginned it for me. Oh, <laughs> Mrs. Avery, you are a card. Now we're gonna go over there, and you just stay in the chair. Uh, just want me to sit here and rock. At least I got my dog Lucky. He's my only joy. Come here, boy! Mm -mm. Rebus. Oh. <sighs> This'll cheer Mrs. Avery up. She's been so down lately. Yeah, I can't wait to see the expression on her face. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mrs. Avery! <laughs> okay, Mrs. Avery, blow out your candle. been a lot of excitement for one day. Why don't we just leave her alone for a while? <laughs> Shouldn't we give Mrs. Avery a piece of cake? I don't think that's such a good idea. Oh, come on, Muriel. It's her last birthday. Let her live a little. Oh. Okay, Mrs. Avery, I got you a nice, tall glass of cake. Hello, I'm from the Department of Social Services. I'm looking for a Mrs. Avery. Yeah, sure, come on in. She's right over here. Hmm. <laughs> ah! Is there a problem, Mr. Stubbs? A uh, problem? No, uh, no problem at all. Uh, a glass of cake? I'm looking for a Florence Normandy Avery. I'm here to check on her welfare. Uh, her welfare? Uh, of, uh, of course her welfare. Well, uh, uh, her welfare is welfare. Welfare well. Mr. Stubbs, I demand to see Mrs. Avery. Uh, just a few minutes. She's chewing her applesauce. All right, everybody, listen up. It's a social services guy, and Mrs. Avery's gone. God! Oh, this is terrible. They'll take Miss Avery to the home for sure. All right, now, don't panic, don't panic. We have to stole this guy. Now, who's good at thinking quick on their feet? All right, good, Sanchez. You keep him occupied with one of your long, boring stories. I don't think I'm the best qualified to be long-winded. You know, he thinks the ant is the most interesting insect. What? Has he never seen the terrifying majesty of the Texas potato beetle? Now we gotta find Mrs. Avery. Still warm. She couldn't have gotten far. Hey, wait! There's Mrs. Avery now! Thank God. Mrs. Avery, get in here! Masha! Smokey! Now what the devil are you doing in that blue dress? Why, did you make me look fat? Oh, just get out of... Wait a minute, I got an idea. Smokey, how'd you like to make ten bucks? Mm -mm, Chupa, while I find you attractive, uh, I don't want to ruin our friendship. Just get in here! Okay, everybody, listen. Smokey is Mrs. Avery, got it? Thurgood, that's not gonna fool anyone. Oh, sure it will. Say something. With my pills. All right. See, he's a natural. Okay, now, Smokey, come over here. You sit right here. Well, at least put this on him. Here's an extra pair of Mrs. Avery's glasses. Okay, everything sit? Good. Bring him in. If you ask me, maggots have always gotten a bad rap. 
Mr. Social Services guy, we're ready for you now. Whew. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Avery. And how are we feeling today? Oh, my God! There was nothing in the manual about this. Oh, uh, she spends a lot of time in the sun. She's very active. Oh, very good. Well, uh, Mrs. Avery, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Uh, first, how are you being treated? With methadone. What? Uh, she gets her uh, prescriptions all mixed up, but that's why we're here, though, to take care of her. Oh, very good. What about meals? Are you eating well? Mm, oh, yeah. You, you'd be surprised at what these people throw away. You feed this woman your garbage? Oh, no, no, no. It just tastes like garbage. <laughs> See, my, my wife is a horrible cook. They're good. It's the drinking. You let someone with a drinking problem care for this woman? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't let her. It's part of a work release program. Okay, yeah. we're definitely gonna be here a while. And so I said to Miss Walker, Alice, you can't call it the colored people. Try to call it purple. And after that, we, we sort of fell out of touch. <laughs> wow, Mrs. Avery, you are a delight. I wish I could stay and visit longer, but it's almost... Oh, that's funny, I must have left my watch at home. Hmm, must have. Mrs. Avery, I hope you realize how fortunate you are to have people who care about you. So many of our elderly end up like that poor homeless bag lady over there. Oh, hi, Mrs. Avery. Uh, I mean, uh, small uh, Tina. Oh. Super! When you gonna do something about this draft? I hope they're treating Mrs. Avery nice in that home. Yeah. Hey, you think it's night where she is, Muriel? Very good. It's 12 blocks away. Yeah, you know, they leave the nest so fast. Seems like only yesterday we were changing her diapers. Boy, I miss her. Maybe that's her. Yeah, it'd be just like that old bat to wake us up in the middle of the night. We miss Mrs. Avery. Can we come sleep with you? Yeah, all right. Come on in. I'll put some coffee on. Jimmy likes his coffee like he likes his women. Yeah, well, anybody else want a big-ass coffee? Mmm, super. Is Mrs. Avery ever coming back? Now, try to think of Mrs. Avery like affirmative action. It was fun while we had it, but now it's gone forever. I know. Tomorrow's Sunday. Why don't we go visit Mrs. Avery? Yeah! Let's go see Mrs. Avery! Yeah, let's go visit! You're right, Muriel. I guess that is the Christian thing to do. And we get to miss church. Now, children, Mrs. Avery's memory may have deteriorated since the last time you saw her. Don't be surprised if she doesn't remember your name. She won't call me Stinky anymore? She lost her memory, not her sense of smell, Juicy. Oh. Yeah, we'd like to see one of your residents, uh, Mrs. Avery. Could you unhook a life support system and wheel her out here for us? Avery? There ain't no Avery's here on life support. Hey! It's the Hilton Jacobs game! Mrs. Avery? Miss Avery is my mother. Call me Flo. Mrs. Avery, I don't understand. You look so alert and healthy. Honey, who's got time to be sick? I have too many responsibilities here. Truth is, I practically run this place. Miss Reese, are you eating your prunes? We need you regular for tonight's show. I'm directing the Sunday Night Music Help and doing the whiz. I think that guy's doing the whiz right now. Let's see here now. Four cases of Preparation H. Mm-hmm. That should see us through the weekend. Well, Mrs. Avery, your recovery is amazing. We should have dumped you in here years ago. Yes, it's wonderful to see that you're so happy here. Get me the hell out of here. What? I belong at home. There's nothing but old people here. I hate old people. They're always dying. I've only been here a week and I've had five roommates. Well, how are we going to get you out? We do the one thing they never expect me to do. Run! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Over here! Now just keep under there and we'll be home free. Oh. Go, boys, go! Oh, my God. Don't worry, Mrs. Avery. We're home now and out of harm's way. Oh. 
Hand over the old woman and no one gets hurt. You can't do this. We still want to take care of her. You've already proven you can't take care of her. She ran away. She ran away from you too? She ran away from you first. She ran away from you second. I'm not going to stand here and argue with children. R2. I'm not. R2. I'm not. R2. I'm not. R2. Not the face. Not the face. Whoa. There. That's better. Now, Mrs. Avery, don't do anything crazy. Crazy? What's crazy is that you treat me like I'm crazy just because I'm old. Like I ain't nobody. But I am somebody. Respect me. Protect me. Occasionally disinfect me. But don't never neglect me. I am somebody. And I can take care of myself. Amen. Yeah. You damn right. Yeah. That's wonderful sentiment, Mrs. Avery, but I'm afraid it's been shown you can't take care of yourself. But she can take care of others. She proved that in her home. And isn't taking care of others the best way to take care of yourself? Think about it. Mr. Subs, you make a great deal of sense. But how is Mrs. Avery going to take care of you? I got that all figured out. Come with me, if you wanna live. Isn't this great? All she needed was a sense of purpose to keep herself sane. Stop, Mr. David, that's the garbage man!